So I'm carrying out some work on this 2010 E-Class. Uh, it's got an OM651 engine. And for peace of mind, I decided to go ahead and fit an oil pressure gauge because uh, these engines uh, seem to have a tendency to, to have problems in that department. At least I know the health of my engine. So, um, actually there is a service connection. Uh, I found it in one of the manuals um, that you'd be able to hook up just a normal pressure gauge to that M12 times one and a half right there. Um, so I got this small adapter and a copper washer and then I, I packed the threads right there to get a, to get a, to, to together with this one. So it says zero to 10 bars is three to 160 ohms. So I wanted uh, to get some oil pressure up on the, uh, well, on every, everything before I started the engine. So I left the injectors out, just covered those up, uh, the, the injector line. So I didn't risk, you know, uh, pushing something up from the cylinders, uh, which might then contaminate uh, each of uh, the injector uh, pipes. So I ran a cable from that one, plus or minus, whatever, doesn't matter, polarity doesn't matter with, with resistance, and it just ran it over to here. And for testing purposes, instead of going out and buying a gauge and everything, I just hooked up my multimeter to that. Um, while I built the engine, I did uh, hook up uh, this yellow wire here down to the uh, starter uh, solenoid so that, that I'd be able to, to run the starter off of that instead of having to pull fuses or whatever for the um, lift pump of the diesel system. Uh, so that way, um, that gives me everything I need in order to run some oil pressure on the beast here. So hooked up the multimeter, just set it to nothing, and then I set it up to ohms, connected it up like that. And over here, there's like this terminal block for charging and everything. And just gonna crank over the engine while I watch the, um, the ohms here. So remember, one, zero to 10 bars equals three to 160 ohms. So let it rip. Isn't that just beautiful? So uh, for my calculations, it's just above a bar, which is uh, pretty decent on just cranking. So um, I'm hoping that that is a good investment as far as getting this engine to run for a very long time, because I don't want to have to do this again. So thanks for watching, guys.